So many men speak, but the level it takes. They can even speak about the level, yet they will not level. Have you not seen them? They talk about prayer, they will not pray. When they talk about prayer, what they mean is that they are one hour prayer. When they talk about prayer, what they mean is that they are night vigil. And the component of night vigil is just your need. Me, myself, I, my work, my husband, me, my, my business. How has that retained the capacity to bring the hand of God in a generation? When Satan comes in darkness and arises, for example, when COVID-19 came in Nigeria, even the people that exalted their businesses as the basis of their seeking God, all they go to places where they pray is to find a way to make their business to prosper, make, give them promotion in the place of their work. Many of them were sacked to show you that when it matters, we go back to the basics. We begin to seek God for the reason that is most important in the days that all ships are down. Why not we seek him the right way when it is still day and we labor? I have a burden. I have a burden. And everybody that hear me will be afflicted by that burden. If you, even if you say, no, I don't, I don't mean you. No, it will come very strong. Because back in it is the weight of life. Back in it is the weight of glory that have the capacity to sit upon your soul so much so that you can't shake it off. It will trouble you in your dreams. And the question that will come upon the heart of a man that began to think, that has begun to think correctly, is what will I do to redeem my family? For how long? For how long we set and boast? If this Jesus is real, I want to touch the real dimension. And the day that God comes in such a way that his name has been, has been superimposed as the governing element, that day revival has come at least in your family. Uh, and guess what? God doesn't come and then he comes on his own. He rises on the wings of sons. So in the natural, what they see is men. They will see you. They will call you and say, it's because of your prayer, chica, that something happened. Meanwhile, God is the one walking. But the man they see in the natural, you are the one. Meanwhile, he is the one walking in the spirit. Uh, the day God will come, he will not come alone. He will ride on the wings of his son. The Bible said Enoch prophesied. And he said that the Lord came with 10,000 of his saints. It means that the Lord cannot come. He can't come without the host. He can't come. He comes on the shoulders of sons. Ah. So there is only one way to reckon the move of God. The move of God is reckoned by the punctuations that men have made in it. So there is no way we can explain what God did in your family without calling your name. What he did in your workplace without calling your name. What he did in your church without calling your name. What he did in your campus without calling your name. Meanwhile, God is the one that did it. But the names of men punctuated the moves of God. I want to be that kind of man. I want to be that kind of man. When I stamp my feet in time, you will see the footprint in eternity. I want to be that kind of man. And when I walk on earth, I'm not, I'm not walking as a normal mortal. My feet is galvanized by the weight of God's burden. When I stamp on it, it will, we will see the footprint in eternity. I want to be that kind of man. When I sleep, I sleep the burden of God. I wake, I wake his burden. I walk, I walk his burden. I am, I am, I am consumed, navigated, mortal. I am a living mobile altar. Uh -uh. A place where incense comes. Oh, I am literally consumed. I don't have time to think about any other thing else. I don't have time to put my thoughts on men's opinion. Many things. No, that is that is an effort in futility. Set your case in heaven. Where yeah, Jesus is seated. And then the whole of your heart will be galvanized. Very soon your name will be numbered amongst the great. The book of Hebrews chapter 10 said that there are such a man, such men that the earth is not worthy of. What kind of life did they live? That's the question I ask myself. Men like David, men like Gideon, Jephthah, the Bible said they received their dead back to life. Some of them have the opportunity of saving their life, but they decided to die. Some of them were sown into two. 
they were persecuted but the Bible said that their record will not be complete without your own is still waiting for Shamaka to bring her own quota. There is such a thing as prophetic quota. The prophetic quota that it takes to download the full measure of God's purpose traveling from eternity into time cannot be captured in all that Paul did. There is a quota that is waiting for Elijah to fulfill. And unless Elijah rise, we will still be waiting for the day. The cry will be, are you the one? Or should we expect another? Because the darkness that is in your family, the, are you not seeing it? The way is moving if you don't level. If you don't level to dissipate the darkness, who are you living it for? And do you think days, the days of the earth does not cause for the change of anything? Next two years does not cause for change in Nigeria. Nothing changes until men stand on the high places of the earth. Until they stand in the gates and they have the power that it takes to change the tides of things. Oh my God, I have a body. Pharaoh's daughter. What happened to that man? Do you know what it means? Somebody said it's better to go on missions in Boronu than to take all your company work in Portacot. Something happened to that kind of person. Something. Something happened. Territories are in darkness because men left their estates. The place that God placed you, he came and searched. He didn't see you there. The Bible said in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1, he said for men ought always to pray and not to faint. This is spake concerning a certain woman. He said that even though his, her petition was before an unrighteous judge, that the woman retained the stature in consistency, such that a season came, the man have to give up because somebody is bigger than you in everything natural. But you persisted because persistence can weary out any opposition if you can be persistent. Even if you are small and you are feeble like a woman, like water, can you be persistent? You can weary out any opposition. I want you to determine in your heart if I lack anything, let it not be consistency. Let it not be persistency. Build my heart with the structures of importunity. Men that can tarry until the hand of God comes, that can hold the horns of the altar and say, We will not leave. We will not leave. Like saviors in Zion, we are right. But this is the scripture. In verse 8, the Bible said that when he that will come, will come, shall he find faith? Shall he find men tarrying? I have found out it is not as if men have not prayed. I have had the record of men that prayed for three days. After three days, they hung their boots. They now started collecting awards. Are you with me? Whenever they are giving award of people that have prayed for long, they give them their own. Why? I have prayed for three days. There are men that are collecting award now because they prayed for 40 days. They fasted for 40 days. There are men that are collecting award because they used to pray and the fire of God will come literally and hang on the heads of men and they snap it and picture appear. But even if it is small fire that is on your head, don't bother about how small the fire is. Can you tarry? Touch your neighbor and say, can you tarry? The burden of God is bending me. The only way I can express this is by a mighty utterance from Jehovah. By a mighty utterance that burns like liquid fire. That have the capacity to mutate the structure of your soul so that you can never return back to what you were before. Before you heard this, it will, it will not be possible. It will not be possible. It will not be possible. Utterance is forged in the course of the seraphims. 
when he lands upon the heart of men, he burns off everything that is the loss and desire in the natural. You have not touched God deep enough. When you touch him, many things don't matter. May God take us there. Take us there. Take us there. Take my generation there. I want to ask. What if God gives us a car? And then what? What if he gives us a house? And then what? Gives us a job? And then what? These are the things that the Gentiles seek. We here seek righteousness. We seek life. We seek that the day we come and the great one will appear and our mortality will be clothed with immortality. Death will be swallowed up in life. My heart is set on there. I'm not a resident of this earth. I'm not an earthbound being. I'm a seed of eternity. I am born of God. My days are navigated. My days are constructed, written by the utterance of the Almighty. The depth of my life cannot be traced to anything that is natural. We have to go deep into the heart of God. Who are you? My desire is that a day will never come when men can write my days and they will ever succeed. Huh? Do you know the summary of all the register that were written, written about Jesus? In spite of all that was written in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, a man appeared and said, if we begin to write what Jesus did, there is no book in the whole world that can contain it. What kind of man is that? What kind of man is that? Meanwhile, the Bible said, looking up to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, a man becomes correct when you look away from things and look to Jesus. I call my generation to look to Jesus again and live. The Bible said, even as the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man has been lifted. Will a generation look? Hi. Look and live. Look and live. Will a generation look? Ah, yes. If a generation turns their eyes away from the pursuits of the world, pursuits of the things, pursuits of the encumbrances of life, and turn and look to Jesus, then he will come. He will come and save us. He will come and save us. He will come. He will come. My body is to raise a generation of men that will arise and cry, Come, Jesus, come. Come, Jesus. Maranatha. Maranatha. Come, Jesus, come. That is the burden of God for the last days. That is the burden of God for the church. Come, Jesus, come. Maranatha! Come, Jesus, come! Do not tarry, come! A generation seeks the face of God. And the scripture said in the book of Isaiah, For he had not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Oh my God. Pray for two minutes. Pray for two minutes. Tell him I'm willing. I'm willing. God is in such a willing man. Willing man. Willing man. I pray to the Kabantelia. Sante Parate. Amen. 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 Amen.